Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux on your Android device without any installation error. Kali Linux is designed for pen testing and ethical hacking, so basically you can perform wonders with your smartphone. You should have at least 8GB free storage on your device. Note, you can only install on your internal storage and not on an SD card. Your phone should be at least 4GB RAM so it doesn't lag and slow down your phone. Take it like this, you're installing a brand new operating system on your smartphone so you know it's really heavy. I am using the Redmi Note 8 Pro with 6GB RAM and I have over 70GB free storage. Now follow these steps closely. Now these are the 3 apps we will need for this installation. So you can see over here NetHunter Kex, Temox and Files. Now download NetHunter Kex with the link in the description of this video. Download Temox and these files from Google Play Store. And lastly download Kali Linux ISO file and the bash script as well. Now you can get the links to this file in the description of this video. This file is over 3 gigs, so you know what to expect. Now open Temox. Take note, these commands are case sensitive so you have to type it as seen. Now type in the first command, you can copy it from the description of this video as well. And then hit enter. Allow. So we've succeeded in setting up the Temox storage. So basically this will allow us to download files with Temox. Now type ls to confirm this. And hit enter. So you can see we now have a folder named storage. Now we have to move the files we downloaded to our Kali Linux folder. So move the two file or you can just copy it. So copy to and then click on this tab icon over there. You can see Tamox over here. So this is because of the file manager we are using. If you are using your normal file manager you won't have access to this. So click on Tamox and then copy it here. So this will take about a minute. The files are actually huge. So you just wait until it's done. Now our files has been copied successfully, now head back to Temox. So if you type ls now and hit enter, you can see our file is now shown here. Now we need to execute this bash script so it can install our Kali Linux. So type in the next command or paste it there and then hit enter. So type in ls again and hit enter. So you can see it has been selected, the color has changed to green. Now enter the next command and then hit enter. So you can see our Kali Linux installation is now running. So what is happening now is that this is verifying the Kali Linux program. So give it some time to finish verifying our ISO file. So this should take about maybe two minutes or more. The process has ended. So you can see existing image file found, delete and download a new one. So let's click N, no enter okay so this is going to extract the iso file and this may take up to 20 minutes depending on your device capacity so for me this wasn't up to 10 minutes so you can see the next step here delete downloaded root fs files so i will just go with no i don't want to delete it and you can see our program is up now to launch kali type in net hunter and hit enter so you can see we are now on the kali directory now we have to set up our kex password and to do that type in kex password like this so you can see now enter the password so let me just go with 126 enter and then verify it again by typing the password hit enter so you can see would you like to enter a view on the password yes i am okay with that and i hit enter so enter the password again to confirm. And we are done with setting up our password. Now type in kex space and and then hit enter. So you can see this is our RFB port number. This is our process ID and every other detail. So the only information you need from here is the RFB port number. So take note of the port number. Now head to your NetHunter Kex. Make sure this is set to localhost and then enter your password. Then over here enter the Kex number, enter your Kex number here and then click on connect. So you can see we are now on our Kali machine. So basically Kali has been installed successfully and we can now access all these tools. You can see these are some of the tools you can explore. The possibilities are endless. 
Now to stop this program from running, head back to Termox and then type in kex stop, hit enter and your program will quit. If this video was helpful, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you on the next one.